Hey, Daily Dosers, so glad you could be with us. Would you like, would you share this post? Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications. If you're watching on cable access, think of a friend you might invite to watch with you. Hey, tonight I want to talk about a game, and I had never heard of this game before. The game is called Bigger and Better. Have you ever heard of that game, Bigger and Better? Uh, I read about this game. A boy named Richard was playing this game. And the game goes like this. What you do is you get your buddies together and you give every one of them something of little or no value whatsoever. So maybe everyone in the group might get a quarter or a dime. And then what you do is you, you go around the neighborhood, each of you on your own, and you go to doors, you knock on the door, and you say, I've got this, I want to trade it. I'm playing a game of bigger and better. I want to trade this for something bigger and better. Would you be willing to trade? And at the end of the night, you all get back together and see who has the biggest and the best stuff from their adventure. Well, the story goes like this. There was a boy named Richard who began with 10 cents. He and his buddies got together and doled out some dimes and they scattered in the neighborhood and started knocking on doors. And Richard went to the first house. He knocked on the door and an old man came to the door and he said, how can I help you? And the young boy explained he was playing the game bigger and better and was wondering if they would be willing to make a trade. And that's when the old man turns to his wife and says, honey, we're playing bigger and better. What do we have to trade? And guess what? The, the, the man's wife brought out an old mattress and gave it to the boy for his dime. <laughs> the boy went with his mattress then to the next house. And at the next house, he knocked on the door and said, we're playing bigger and better. Would you trade me something for this mattress, something bigger and better? And do you know what they gave him? They gave him a ping pong table. Now, you and I probably would have stopped there and known I won. I won. I'm going back to brag with my buddies. But Richard, he kept on. He went to the next house, knocked on the door, said, I'm playing bigger and better. I've got this ping pong table. What would you trade for it? And guess what they gave him? An elk head of all things. And Richard did this. He went on and on to five, six more houses. And do you know what? This story, you can't make this up. By the end of the house, someone traded him and gave him an old beat up pickup truck. He drove that pickup truck to his buddies and obviously he won. Well, this game Bigger and Better reminds me of a story in the Bible about a young man Jesus encountered. He was a, a rich man who had more than you or I could ever imagine, but he was a godly man. He was righteous. He loved God. Well, Jesus encounters this man, and Jesus looks him in the eyes and said, if you really love God, if you really want to get to know God, would you be willing to give up all that you have? Could you imagine? Of course, this man was sad, and he was put out because he knew he could never do that. He wouldn't do that. You see, here's the thing. I think what, what Jesus was asking him or inviting him to consider wasn't that he feel guilty about his stuff, that somehow he should feel ashamed that he has so much stuff. No, what I think Jesus was getting at was, boy, would you be willing to trade up? Would you be willing to play a little game of bigger and better? Because here's what I think. I think that story in the Bible, it isn't actually about wealth so much. It isn't meant to make those of us here in the U.S. who have more than enough stuff, who have homes filled with more than we need, I don't think the story is meant to make us feel guilty as much as it's inviting us to play a game of bigger and better. Are we willing to trade up? You see, when Jesus looked at that man, I think what, what he was saying to him was would you be willing to trade in that thing that you've built your identity on? Would you be willing to trade in that thing that your significance, what you believe makes you significant, would you be willing to trade that in? Would you be willing to let go of that thing you are so proud of in your life that you believe tells other people that you matter in this world? Would you be willing to trade up? Would you be willing to play a game of bigger and better? Because here's what I think. I think when Jesus looks at that man, and, and maybe he's looking at people like you 
and me as well. He's saying to that man, you look to these things to define you. Would you be willing to leave them behind and let me define who you are? Because here's what we know as people of faith. When our lives are defined by Christ, when our significance is built on who we are in the eyes of Jesus, you know what? We never ever need to play a game of bigger and better ever again. Shadow, you won't light up, mountain, you won't climb up, coming after me.